Okay, nearly at the end. Damn, the press is supposed to be calling us soon. Yeah, okay. I'm nearly done. That's great. Okay, let's get ready for the call. Hmm, I completed it. But I still want to play a game. Oh, hey everybody, welcome to Art Party, your number one place for nostalgia. I'm Dan and I want to play a game. Who is the Prez again? He's the president of Generation Rad, the little group we were part of, and our boss. I thought Rad was our boss. He's our manager. I'm sure we've been through this. Okay, he's calling. I could play Revenge of Shinobi again. Answer the call! That ringtone is really annoying. <sighs> Fine. Hello, Mr. Prez? Hey, Dano, listen, I know I was a little harsh by requesting that you get your viewership up by 50% a few weeks ago. Now, I'm still gonna stick with that, but I thought I'd give you a little help. What kind of help? I want you to introduce to the people the Tiger Electronic Games. Now, these things are coming back in the big way. This is Double Dragon. Tiger Games? Yeah, I know them. Terrible little LCD handhelds that were popular in the 80s and 90s. I'm sending you one out of my own personal collection. It's Shinobi. It brings home all the excitement of the console version. Shinobi? I could play some Shinobi. Now I'm giving you gold here, son. Don't let it go to waste. Yeah, thank you. We'll do a great video about it. Hey, I got total faith in you, Danny boy. You got one of those good TV faces, you know, like what's his name? Uh... Ellen DeGeneres? Thanks. We can do this, so go do it. And tell Murray he still owes me 20 bucks. What? I... Yeah, fine. I'll pay it. Sometime. Bye. Well, that went pretty well. Getting something cool to review. Cool? They're the opposite of cool. It's a Tiger Electronic game. Hello, everyone. I have a package for you from the press. Wow, that was fast. Okay, I'll get the review table cleared so you can review it. Oh, those sounds are annoying. Ah, there we go. Uh, don't you want to do that at the review table? What? Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll do it in a minute. So, typical bad Tiger Electronic game as usual. Actually, it's great. What? You lie. No, it's pretty good. It's just like the console game. Lies! Really? You throw your ninja stars to defeat enemies and jump around? Okay, joke over. Ha uh ha, -huh, very funny. But seriously, it's terrible, right? It must be. Well, the game is basic like you'd expect from a Tiger Electronic game. You jump, throw your ninja stars at enemies and rescue people. Unlike a lot of Tiger games, you can actually tell where everything is and what's going on. Can I have a go? I want to see this amazing Tiger game. No, I'm playing it. Just a quick go. You can play it later. Okay, so you throw your ninja stars at the enemies and jump in the air to get the ones up there. Oh, avoid all the projectiles they're thrown at you too. And just try and get to the end of the level without dying. It's kind of fun. Is it my turn now? Not yet, I'm still playing it. Oh, and we've got the boss. So I think he throws fire at you. There we go. Let's try and take him down. Odd Pod will return after this commercial break. Planet Earth. A scientist creates the ultimate machine. At last! A machine that will give him the power to journey into the Mega World. With thousands of colors, 16-bit graphic technology, and 10-channel Mega Stereo Sound. The most advanced video game system in the universe. Yes! Mega Drive from Sega. <laughs> Jibber Jabber is a little clown. Bimbo, his fuzzy head wobbles all around. Give him a shake, that's all it'll take. See what Jibber Jabber's got to say. You don't say. Yep, yep. Jibber Jabber goes every place. Bimbo, it's hard to do till you do in the face. Shake him around, all around town, and hear him make a jibber jibber jabbery sound. Oh, really? Yep. 
yep, yep. He's the very best talker around. Jibber jabber. <laughs> From Earl. Genesis brings you the dazzling powers of the mystic warriors, the ninja, in Revenge of Shinobi. And 16-bit arcade racing action with Super Monaco Grand Prix. 16-bit arcade comeback, skills, strategy, reflex, and rivalry. Experience the ninja magic of Revenge of Shinobi and the exhilarating rush of Super Monaco Grand Prix for the Genesis system. Sega Genesis brings the arcade experience home. Genesis system and games sold separately. And now, back to Oddpod. It's been five hours and he's still playing it. It can't be that good! It can't! Maybe he just needs a different game to play. Huh? Well, he completed Shinobi and said he still wants the game. Ah, the Tiger game was the first game he came across after completing Revenge of Shinobi. Yeah, so his need to game has made him play it. But why for so long? Because it's a Tiger game. They have no real fun or rewarding gameplay. So he's just gonna keep playing? He needs a real game. Haha! -ha, take that, fat guys! This is so fun and rewarding. Okay, we need to give him a good game to play. Right, let's have a look. Oh, I found one! Great, give it to him. Hey Dan, I have a new game for you. It's Dark Castle for the Philips CDI. Murray, what are you doing? Haha, <laughs> I know. Find a good game, one of his favorites. Aha, Dan, do you want to play some Aladdin on Mega Drive? Ooh, that almost worked. Try another one. How about some Earthworm Jim? Earthworm. Tiger Shinobi. It's working! Pokemon Blue? Remember when you played it for the first time? Discovering and catching new Pokemon? So much fun! That was good. I picked Squirrel, but Tiger Shinobi. Almost there. Yeah, it was good. You know what else was good? Haunting, starring Poltergeist on the Sega Mega Drive, and Creatures on PC. You love these! And remember Monster Rancher on PS1? You love that! Why not play it again? I love those games. What? What am I playing? It worked! Why am I playing this? It sucks. Yes. Yes it does. Phew. Thanks guys. I'm not sure what happened then. No problem. So, are we done with the Tiger Shinobi game then? Definitely. And to be honest, it is one of the better Tiger games as it does feel like a game. Kind of. But we played them when we were bored or we just were away from our consoles. Or couldn't afford a Game Boy. Plus they had our favourite TV, movie, cartoon and video game characters on them. So we wanted them. There should have been a Barglins one. As much as I say they're terrible games, which they are, I still have a soft spot for them. Well, they have my favourite characters on them. I'm nostalgic for them and I know they're terrible. But that's okay. Yeah, I agree. So what game are you gonna... Play. Okay, I better email the press and tell him that the Tiger Game Review was a, uh, success. Right, time to say goodbye to all the art potters watching, Dan! Hmm, fine. Thanks for watching, everybody. We really hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe, etc. And, uh, I think that's everything. Hmm, I'm really in a gaming mood now.